This is a short tutorial on the basic echocardiography views and how to obtain these views. The probe you're going to use to perform this study is a phased array probe or what we call a cardiac probe. Note the small footprint of the probe that is very suitable to be placed in between the intercostal spaces and obtaining the appropriate window. If you don't have this phased array probe, you can use a curved probe or what we call the abdominal probe to obtain some of these views, but that will be very challenging because the abdominal probe has large footprint that will not really fit in between the intercostal spaces. A quick review of the orientation. Each probe has a dot that corresponds to the probe marker. And this probe marker corresponds to the green dot on the ultrasound image. It is very important to locate your probe marker before performing the study because that will help you have the correct orientation. There are four basic echocardiography views that we will review. The subxiphoid view, the parasternal long view, the parasternal short view, and the apical four chamber view, which are summarized in the image on the right. We're going to talk about each of these views and details in the next few slides. First, the subxiphoid view. Your anatomical landmark for the subxiphoid view is the xiphoid process. You will place the probe just below the xiphoid process and the probe marker will be pointing towards the patient's right. Note that the sonographer is placing the probe very flat, angling it towards the liver to obtain this view. This is the ultrasound image corresponding to this view. This is how a normal subxiphoid view will appear. And these are the anatomical landmarks. So the first chamber close to the liver is the right ventricle and there is the left ventricle and the pericardium, which is noted as this white stripe surrounding the heart. The parasternal long view is obtained by placing the phasedary probe in the anterior chest wall between the third and fourth intercostal space. The probe marker will be pointing towards the patient's left hip. This is the ultrasound video that corresponds to a normal parasternal long view. Note that the first chamber close to the ultrasound probe is the right ventricle, and then there is the interventricular septum, there's the left ventricle, and the left atrium. The valve between the left ventricle and left atrium is the mitral valve. The white bright stripe surrounding the heart is the pericardium. And there is the circle which is corresponding to the descending aorta. These are very important landmarks that you should be able to identify in a normal parasternal long view. To obtain a parasternal short view, you keep your probe exactly where it was in the parasternal long view between the third or fourth intercostal space and you just rotate the probe marker so the probe marker is pointing towards the patient's right hip this time. The image you're going to obtain depends on the angle of your probe. Note here the sonographer is angling towards or tilting the probe towards the patient's right shoulder and then towards the apex. This will produce different images. If you're angling or tilting the probe towards the shoulder, you will be at the level of the aortic valve and you will be uh, obtaining the what, we, what is known as the Mercedes-Benz sign demonstrated in this ultrasound video. If you are more perpendicular to the chest wall, you will obtain the view of the parasternal short at the level of the mitral valve, noted here as a fish mouth. And if you're angling or tilting the probe towards the apex, you will obtain the parasternal short view 
at the level of the papillary muscle, which is the best location to evaluate the left ventricular function. So note this white stripe surrounding the heart is the pericardium. The crescent shaped chamber is the right ventricle, while the circular shaped chamber is the left ventricle. So the three images correspond to the different level of a parasternal short depending on the angle of your probe. An apical four chamber view is obtained by placing the probe at the fifth intercostal space, probe marker towards the patient's right. So in men, most of the time, this is just below the nipple line. And this is the corresponding ultrasound image of a normal apical four chamber view. Note the bullet shape apex and the straight interventricular septum, which corresponds to a normal apical four chamber view and a very good adequate view. The anatomy of the chambers corresponding to this view are as follows. Look at the right ventricle and compare it to the left ventricle. The right ventricle looks small and triangular when you compare it to the left ventricle, which is normal. And note the surrounding hyperechoic line, which is the pericardium. So this is a summary of the four basic echocardiography views that are obtained using point-of-care ultrasound.